In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly get started with Anki as the process to get started is a little confusing. I am making this video because I had a lot of requests from my friends as well as subscribers on how to properly use Anki. So here it is. Anki is a learning tool which can be used to learn content by the principles of space repetition as well as active recall, which have been by far proved to be the best methods of learning. I used Anki for USMLE Step 1 preparation while being in my second year of med school and it helped me to remember the content in a much efficient manner. Hey guys, Mahir Patel here, a third year MBBS student at Vijay Medical College, Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Anki is an excellent tool for long-term memory retention, but the only caveat is that you have to use it daily for its maximum benefits, as the algorithm gets customized to your learning pattern. A couple of hours of solving Anki flashcards daily is much better than trying to cram everything you have learned in a week at the end. Personally, I've never been a fan of uh, reading books because they seem quite boring to me, but this way of learning was quite uh, challenging and interactive for me, so I quite enjoyed it. Before this video starts, I want to give a big big shout out to the creators of Anking Deck and for their contributions to the med school community. So what is Anking? Anking is a pre-made flashcard deck available on Reddit for one to use. It has content related to USMLE Step 1 and USMLE Step 2. You can choose to create your very own flashcards in Anki, but the process is a little long and time consuming. What I say is instead just use the pre-made decks such as Anking because it is a great deck for learning content. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use Anki and Anking pre-made deck for med school as well as USMLE step 1 study. So without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, open up any browser of your choice and search for ANKI that is Anki on Google. Then click on the first link as it appears. It will take you to the website of Anki where you can download the software for free. I am using a Windows laptop so I am going to download the latest stable version for Windows 10. You have to download whatever type of uh, PC you have. If you have a Mac then download for Mac OS. If you have a Linux PC then download for Linux. The app is also available for Android as well as iOS. But the app on iOS is paid. So go on ahead and click on the file which you want to download. Personally, I prefer to use the laptop for uh, the controls and customizations because the ease of navigating through the settings is much simpler. Now I'm going to show you guys how and from where to download the Anking deck. So open up a browser, search up Google and search for Anking. This will take you to the Anking's website. Now to download the Anking deck, uh, you have to scroll down below and go to the uh, click here link. Then uh, this will take you to a reddit page. I suggest you to read the entire page because it contains valuable information about the deck itself. Uh, then to download the deck what you have to do is scroll down to the comment section. There will be a pinned comment there. Me both mega and google drive download links are available. Choose whatever you want. I am going to use google drive links. Right now I want to say that if you have ever any doubt regarding how to use Anki then head on over to the YouTube channel of The Anking. He has many excellent videos regarding, regarding Anki and how to use it properly and very efficiently. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description below. I hope you are uh, enjoying this video and uh, finding it informative. So this takes a lot of time and effort to make. I hope you guys leave a like. So now we have downloaded both Anki and the Anking deck. Now let's go on ahead and install Anki on our PC. Just simply follow the installer prompts given steps and it, the application will be installed in your computer. Now go on ahead and open Anki. You might be wondering why does my screen look like this and yours is empty. And the screen looks like this because of the add-ons that I had downloaded. Now I'm going to show you how to install the add-ons. What you have to do is go to the tools option, select uh, add-ons, then as you can see I have downloaded this many add-ons here. Now I will show you how to add these add-ons onto your computer. Go to the link provided in the description below.
extract the file to this folder. Then select the version of Anki which you have installed. We have installed this one so we will select it. Then right click extract here. Now right click on the add-ons 421 folder and click on copy. Go on to Anki, click on uh, tools, add-ons. Uh, click on view file information and then go ahead and paste it here and click on replace file destination As you have done this, uh, go on ahead and uh, close Anki because to activate the add-ons you have to restart it. To import the Anki deck what you can do is click on import deck over here. Or you can go to the file location where you have downloaded the deck and double click on it. As the deck is pretty large, it will take a, a few minutes to process and get loaded into Anki. So be patient. Now as you can see the deck has been imported. I will show you how to choose the cards from the topic which you want to study. Go to the browse menu and click on it. This window will pop up. As you can see these are the uh, filters by which the cards are assorted. These are the flags. These are the states in which the cards are. Before we start doing anything what we have to do is go on ahead and suspend all the cards because we have not studied anything yet. Now to select the topics which we have studied, let's suppose I have studied for, from first aid biochemistry. Now I will go ahead down in the tags section and I will click on first aid down arrow. This will show up the topics available in the first aid. Now what I will do is click on biochemistry down arrow. This will show me the available sections in biochemistry. Let's suppose I have studied the entire biochemistry section. So now to study it what I will do is click on 01 biochemistry which will select then click on any card then click on control A if you are on PC or command A if you are on Mac. This will select all the cards. Now go on ahead and click on toggle suspend or click on control J or command J. This will unsuspend the cards which you want to study. First we suspended all the cards and now we are unsuspending the cards which we want to study. So this will, these are the cards which will show up in the R tech. As you can now see, uh, these many cards are now available for you to study. As it is right now, the settings of Anki are not suitable for you to learn and review the to cards. To change that, what you can do is watch this video from Anki. I will uh, place it in the i button and also place it down in the description below for you guys to watch. It will teach you how to change the review settings of the, of the deck of the flashcards. If you guys don't want to go ahead and see his video, I can show you the basics of what he does. So what you need to do is go ahead and click this uh, button over here, then click on options. This will open up the scheduling of the deck of the cards. What you should do if you want to learn an unlimited amount of cards is set your new cards limit to 9999 and also set if you want to review the maximum amount of cards in a day. You should also set your reviews to 9999. Uh, then uh, about the new cards, uh, change the learning steps to 25 minutes and one day. Then change the graduating interval to three days and change the easy interval to four days. Uh, insertion order should be kept at random. For the lapses, the relearning steps should be kept at 25 minutes. Uh, the minimum interval should be kept at one day and the leech threshold should be kept at 4. The leech action should be tag only and not suspend because you don't want to suspend the card which, at which you are weak. You want to review it the maximum amount of times. 
then for the timer uh, set the maximum answer seconds to whatever you like i have set it to 240 seconds and i also sh uh, keep the show answer timer on uh, for the burying section i you should keep the new siblings and review siblings buried until the next day what this does is helps you to segregate the related cards by a day so they don't show up in the same day otherwise it will be too easy for you to learn don't change anything in the audio add-ons i already showed you before now in the advanced section what you need to do is keep the maximum interval at 36500 which is 10 years and uh, i don't think you need to change anything else over here if you want to learn more and uh, if you want to learn more, go ahead over to the Ankings channel. I will link a video down in the description below, which will help you to learn the scheduling of cards. This video took a lot of efforts to make and uh, timed also. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, I hope you guys leave a like and subscribe and uh, share it to your friends who want to learn Anki. So that was it for today's video. Bye bye.